Hello guys, it's me Akitori here today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Redstone Labs mod. Now, at first I had a little trick bit of trickery understanding how this mod works, but now I understand how it works. Okay, so the Redstone Lamp mod works very simply. Um, first off, you get your Redstone Lamp, and even in the Redstone Lamp, it doesn't matter. And you turn, you can change it by putting a Redstone Torch under it. Now, that will make it into an inverted Redstone Lamp. However, since the default redstone lamp doesn't have this feature, it just turns into another one. Now, an inverted one turns on when it's not having when it doesn't have redstone signal, and turns off when it has redstone signal, as you can see right here. It's kind of cool, kind of cool. And to change it back, all I have to do is just put a piece of redstone or a redstone. Um, uh, invert. Yeah, redstone inverts it. This one makes it normal. Redstone itself just makes it normal. Now you could dye in multiple colors. Um, blue, I guess. Cyan. As you can see, Cyan. Now, if the a color of the light is not emitted, so yeah, I'm not sure how you're exactly supposed to. I think you're supposed to use glowstone or glowstone dust to make it um, toggleable. No. No. Okay. Or maybe a button. I think maybe a button. Um. Uh, oh, that's carpenter's button. That's not the right button. Two. No. Um. Yeah, it's supposed to have. Okay, if I search up the lamp here, there are two types of lamps. There are the white redstone lamp, the white inverted lamp, and the switchable. Now, this switchable, I don't know how you make. There's no recipe for it. You right click it with your fist to turn it on. Now, I would want this lamp in my house. Simply because it's awesome. I think it might be a lever, actually. That would actually make sense if it was a lever. Is it a lever? Is it a lever? Is it a lever? It's a lever! Okay, so... <laughs> experimentation equals lever. Oh, uh, yes. So you can get multiple of these. Turn on and off and off and on and on and on and on and on. Like, these are actually kind of cool. I like these. Ones. Now, originally I was going to give this mod a bad showcase because, um... And um, when I just search up lamp here, it only shows these two. But then I read again that you have to use shapeless crafting recipe. So I decided to try it, and it works. Then we have this yellow witch pole. Do the harm chicken egg and egg and egg. Now it's kind of cool, kind of fun. Um, it took a little experimentation, but I would rate this mod very highly. I like this mod; it's very useful. Um, the only complaint I have is that. When you have an inverted, like, uh, these, um, in my opinion, you should not be able to put in another inverted under that, but that might just be data value stuff, so, I don't know. And you should not be able to do that, like, you should not be able to do that twice, like, I get this and I do this again and does it again. It should, it's just a waste of rats in a bit, so, yeah. That's just my only complaint. But yeah, I like the mod. It's really, really awesome. Um, I would really like. It's really awesome. I'm, I'm gonna actually use this in my single, in my, uh, my, mod survival with my friends because it's really awesome. I mean, and plus, if you put anything next to this powered lamp, it will actually um power itself. So, actually, this is inverted. Never mind. My logic is broken. <laughs> my arguments are valid. <laughs> okay, so let's change this to uninverted. Yeah, it only powers itself. This re this lamp only works by itself. But this one does not, re this one requires power. So yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I like this one. It's really cool. It uses IDs and data values to make um, colored lamps of all sorts. It's really cool, really cool. Um, my only complaint is that, this one does not work. Okay. <laughs> my only complaint is that he needs to put the recipes a bit more clear. I had to experiment a bit with this. In fact, I was just experimenting right now during the showcase. Just to figure out what each does. So yeah. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And guys, seriously, the lever one is just amazing. I, I don't know why. It's just it's just so fun. Like, you just... I mean, it's just on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off and off. And on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off and on. And on and on I love this one. This, this, this is definitely going into my mod pack. Definitely. I love this mod pack. It's just so simple. I don't need Red Power Plus because Red Power Plus had this, but like I go like on and off, and on and off, and on and off. 
then it to do the Harlem Shake and they can. <laughs> oh, and this one does not inter interact with redstone at all, so you can just put redstone next to it. So, yeah. Um, this one's kind of. I like it. It's just like self power redstone, despite the fact that it's being powered. Really cool. Really cool. Um, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna keep playing with this light. I'm like a moth, seriously. Um, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. Um, I like this mod. It's really cool. It's really unique. And this one's my favorite one. I'm sorry, but it's just my favorite. I mean, it's like, it's, 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 it's like a bag. If you just put this on, um, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. What do you can you put it on? Um, you can put on a piston, actually. Yeah, that actually works pretty well. Because it's something. You could, oh my god. You can put on a piston, it makes it look fancy, and you can power this. What? What? Oh yeah, redstone lamps do that, but that's cool. You can have like a giant lantern thing that that just you could turn on and off. That's cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye everyone.